Okay, now we have drive the scooter for nearly 30 minutes and it's it's really cold outside but we try to manage anyway. So let's see how the uh, Hasselblad camera have done this trip. It's uh, I have I have actually uh, had the other two before this one and I really liked them. The first one was I don't I it it took really nice pictures, but in this environment where it is uh, just in the middle of nowhere, the cold was just cracking the cam camera down. So after five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, it's ended. It just uh, turned itself off. The second camera, the version two of this Hasselblad was much, much better. I could be out for hours early in the morning, minus 32 degrees Celsius, uh, the most minus i been out with the Hasselblad's camera but uh and it works really really good so let's see what happened when we take this out in this environment it's uh it's a brand new camera with the 38 millimeter lens on and uh yeah uh i push i push the uh the button on now it starts uh i can i can actually nothing happened more than it actually works so far so good I uh, I hope they they have managed to be out just test it in cold environment like this so uh, what I will do now I will just uh, try to take some photos uh, it's cloudy day today I have no uh, filters on here I don't like to have filters on when uh, when I'm out in this environment it's a little bit foggy outside there we have great mountains around us 80 kilometers west it's norway uh, normally north up here it's uh, aurora in the night when it's uh, cloud free so i hope to to have some cloud free weather when i'm actually up here so <laughs> yeah this is it this is it What I really like with this camera is the, it's the new lens, 38 millimeters. Uh, it has a shift thing here, you can go back and forth, back and forth. So in this position here, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, automatic uh, kind of focus and in this one it's manual. And when I put this one, I, I, I can see easily a round circle with a little arrow up in the top. And when that arrow is green and in, 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 in it, it's a plus in the middle, then it's focused, it's really easy. Then I can point the camera wherever I want to and just change, change it manually. And I really, I really enjoy that and really like that with this one. It's easy to, to just push this little ring back and forth like this. Uh, especially when I'm out in this Arctic kind of landscape, it's, uh, it's easy. From time to time I, I, of course, use the automatic focus when I just put push down the bottom a little bit, but I think I like that one a little bit more actually. What I really like with this one is it's small and uh, it's a lot of different uh, things that you can actually maneuverate but, but they it's have a, a, a dot some something here you can just go with it and something here you can just go with it and it's it's really really easy to take great pictures uh, the screen is sensitive uh, so I can just touch it like that and then the focus ring is changing place and that's that's really really good actually and uh, I can easily hold the camera like this and see what I would like to to photo actually. You can see easily here if I push just with my finger like this, uh, that little focus ring is changing place. And they are so sensitive and when they are green, 
the camera is straight on. And I, I, I work with a low ISO, like 100 here, because all snow and the clouds and so, so everything will be gray. And the time is 320 and the F is four. Uh, and that's because I would like to have these trees really focus on them and a blurry background actually, in right now, so yeah. Yeah, and I try to take photos like this and that big, depends on a little bit how big the tree is and so on. And in this Arctic life here, uh, we're quite up like 1000 meter above the sea line. So it's, a, it's not that much of, of trees up here. And I try to focus and I think this Hasselblad is really good on that one. I try to focus on the black in, in this environment because uh, everything is white. And when I start to print this out, uh, uh, it could actually, <laughs> the whole picture could be right white. Um, so I try to, to focus on something that are, that have some colors and it's not much colors, it's much just green from the tree actually and gray from, from the tree. So the black in here, try to manage that a little bit. And I think the Hasselblad's camera is really good on that one. It's, um, it's work quite good. And now I can see the battery is just, uh, starting to fading down so uh, and it's a little bit warm it's a little bit warm actually yeah I've been testing this camera now for I think it's three days or something like that in the Arctic here we have drive uh, around with the snowmobiles really much and in it and the camera has been in my in my bag in back of the snowmobiles. I have uh, photo shooting with the XCD 38 millimeters and with the 90 millimeters actually. And this is uh, this is from I think two years ago or three years ago or something like that. So this is a little bit more older, older uh, lens, but it's really really nice, recommended. And what can I say? Fast focusing. Uh, no problem. I can uh, I can do the uh, I can just grab the camera, see the picture, see the environment, and really fast, just go with it, and it's uh, it's uh, it's really nice. Maybe it's a little bit slow when it comes to a startup, but I, I I mean this is not a fast camera, so to say. So it's not a Canon or Nikon. It's taking zero of a second to start but that is something i really know so for this arctic life with this uh, landscape uh, photography shooting it's perfect it's really perfect it's quite small uh, when it comes to the 90 millimeters lens been a little bit more longer but it's still quite small so i can have the camera with me with the 38 millimeter lens and then i can have three or four other lenses with me in a, quite a small photo bag. And that's, that's really good. The picture, the pictures I took in, in this one, it's 100 megapixel. It's amazing. It's so detailed. And I can, uh, when I come home and get into my computer, I can easily, easily, easily see all the details, all the colors in this camera. And I've tried to, uh, uh, the old camera, I've been trying to, to print it, to print some pictures from, from the old camera, and that was 50 megapixel, and that was just amazing. So it will be nice to print pictures from this one, and that will be, I think that will be even more amazing. When it comes to cold, I think they have made a really good job, because this one is made for cold Arctic life, actually. So I can strongly recommend the Hasselblad X2D for, for anyone who loves to be in the Arctic, taking auroras, uh, do this kind of, of, of landscape photography. I've been trying to take some aurora pictures with the camera and uh, in the middle of the night it's cold of course, a little bit windy, the aurora is coming and it's, uh, it's no clouds on the sky. But the camera 
in the dark, it's uh, a little bit hard to, to focus, even if I do it manually, actually. So it takes a little bit too long for the camera to work properly when it's complete dark around you and uh, gonna take some Aurora pictures. So therefore, in the night, I leave this one at home and I take another camera that's more maybe better for, for night photography. But that's my, my opinion. For this kind of Arctic life, uh, day, time, daylight, perfect camera, good hand grip, good information in the back. Uh, I can see clear, clearly in, the, in this window here and uh, all my old lenses fits perfect into this camera and it works properly. So, do I recommend this? Yes, for the Arctic life. Uh, you go out with a snowmobile or do the crazy things I do. This is a really good camera taking real good pictures and you get a perfect result. That's everything for me. Have a good time with this and have fun when you go out and do the photography. Bye.